Yo, what is going on guys? Today is test day. We are on our way to Body Tech. I'm gonna get my first ever DEXA scan body fat test. And this is supposedly the most accurate way to measure your body fat. <laughs> I want you guys to guess right now what my current body fat percentage is. I'll flash like a shirtless clipper video uh, from a couple days ago. So obviously my body fat hasn't really changed in a couple days. And I'm definitely nowhere near as lean as I was in the summertime. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna guess I'm around like 11% body fat right now. I mean, I still have visible abs, but I was actually watching a bunch of other similar videos on YouTube and like, so there's a Kino body, if you guys know who he is. And then there's this guy named Mike Thurston, who I think looks way more ripped and who has a way better physique. And um, Kino body, his body fat was like 7.8 and Mike Thurston's was like 15%. So after I get my results done, so I'm gonna actually take you guys inside. They're gonna scan my entire body. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can and show you guys how it works. And then after the test, um, I'm gonna go over my results with you guys and tell you why you can even be like 13 and 14% body fat and look absolutely shredded. I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why. So I will see you guys inside. So we are walking into Body Tech, trying to find it right now. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous because there is no hiding these results like I honestly like my body fat could be 13 14 percent I'm not really even sure so this is going to be really motivating though because I actually have scientific data to compare myself to in like two or three months so it's pretty cool to see this is five pounds of muscle tissue and this is five pounds of body fat so as you can see the muscle is way more condensed this is like I mean, if I had to guess, I would say this, I thought this was actually 10 or 15 pounds of fat, so that's pretty crazy to see. Dungeon room right here. <laughs> so, okay. go ahead, please, 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 I'm gonna guess I'm at around 11%. We shall see. Are you crazy? So just lay flat right here? Right in the middle. Yeah. Switch to your right. Yeah. 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 Test is done, awaiting my results. Give you guys one more look. Uh, still have sort of visible abs. But okay. So up here you can see the breakdown of each in pounds with your lean tissue being here, fat tissue, and then your bone mineral content is how much your skeleton weighs. Gotcha. So these three numbers combined is basically just my body weight, right? Yep. Is the total mass right there. Absolutely. Exactly. And then this right here is your total body fat percentage. Okay. So I was 11.8%, which is about what I guess. Yeah. So. So that's good. Usually for elite athletes, it's between 9 and 12, so yes. like right within Perfect. margin. So we're out here at Venice Beach Skate Park now, and a few other people who I know have got the DEXA body scan, so you guys can kind of see the differences and how body fat percentages look, especially in people who are very muscular and not so muscular. So Conor McGregor came in at 7% when he got his DEXA scan done. Uh, Rob Lipset, another fitness YouTuber, he came in at like 5.8%, so combination of being really lean and having a decent amount of lean muscle mass on his size. Uh, Jeff Nippert came in at 8.4%, and then Steve Cook in the offseason, I think he came in at 11.5. So my current body fat percentage was similar, pretty much the same as Steve Cook's in the off season. I'm pretty much in the off season myself, not really trying to be too lean right now, trying to put on size. So the biggest takeaway is you can actually have like 12 to 15% body fat and look super ripped if you have a lot of muscle mass on your frame. And another, another takeaway too is like when you see pictures on Instagram, it's obviously going to be like the optimal pump, the optimal lighting, because someone 12, 13% body fat with a huge pump, they're going to look very lean in a picture when they have a huge pump on at the gym. They're in the perfect lighting, the perfect filter, all that. So it is 100% possible to look pretty shredded at 12 to 13% body fat, which I think is going to be pretty shocking. 
for a lot of people to hear because I always thought you had to be 10% or under to look really lean, but once again, it's all about where that body fat is dispersed. Going for a little walk in Venice Beach today. Let's talk about these body fat test results because I actually guessed pretty close to uh, what I ended up at, 11.8%. Tiny bit higher than I thought, but uh, being that Mike Thurston was at 15%, that still shocks me. I don't know, that, that test result seems really inaccurate, but let's say it is 100% accurate. Let me flash on the screen right now. Um, Kino Bodies, which was 7.7%, mine at 11.8, and Mike Thurston at 15%. And let's look at the difference. So uh, pretty crazy. Uh, Mike Thurston obviously has the most muscle mass out of us three. I would say I'm in the middle, and Kino Body is in last place. No offense to Kinobody. So, the, uh, we've got some street ball going on over here. <laughs> so if you guys are ever in Los Angeles, definitely check out Venice Beach. It is quite the interesting, interesting place, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you will see some things. Okay, so the number one thing that you have to understand with the test results is the more muscle mass that you have, especially in your upper body, the leaner that you're gonna look. So. For instance, when you look at myself and Mike Thurston, like Mike Thurston especially, he has those really blocky abs. Um, it's just gonna help you guys give the illusion that you're leaner when you're at like 12 to 15% body fat. So the other big thing too is where your fat is actually dispersed. So for me, I had the most in like my lower back and my legs. So if you don't carry a lot of fat and like, actually my lower abs are pretty lean and uh, throughout my entire upper body was really lean. So the leaner that your upper body is and the more fat that you store in your legs, obviously most people just judge how lean someone is based off how they look shirtless and they're not really analyzing like their legs and everything. So if you carry more body fat in your legs, you're gonna have the illusion that you're much leaner than you really are. Western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City. All right, guys, City, so I hope you enjoyed my video on body fat percentages. And let me know what you guys think that your body fat is based off of this video in the comments below. By the way, this is my favorite part of Venice Beach. We've got the basketball courts over here. I'm definitely, I want to come here one day and just play a bunch of street ball and film it. Just make a really cool basketball video because that was actually my first original passion was basketball. So I have to show, I have to come out here and show my game one day. Maybe you know what? I got a dunk in a video for you guys too. So this is beautiful Venice Beach, California. Although when it gets dark, it's pretty shady. So we're gonna make sure Kitty Gans is safe. We're gonna leave before it gets uh, before it gets out of hand here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I got so much in store on the channel over the next week. We have the Superhuman Arm Series. I know I've been talking about it for the last month. Finishing up the promo video for it, I'm gonna launch an awesome challenge for that. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe. And for everyone else, I will see you on the next video. We're about a half inch behind, correction, half inch ahead for the year, and one in 5,300 behind for the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar, however, the satellite photo